Hello and welcome to the Balcobot Foot Sites Guide, available in Balco version 2.643. My name is Saeed and I've worked with Fitzy to show you how to effectively set up and run the newly added Balcobot Foot Sites module. So getting right into it, the first thing you need to do is create a task. Here we have the product ID box and you can usually find the product ID from the Balcobot Discord or from a cook group. In the event you can't find the PID, you can manually find it by going to a product page of any item and either looking at the numbers before the .html or scrolling down a bit and using the code where it says product number. Both of these are the product IDs and will work perfectly fine when running a task. The next step is the sizing. Note the Balcobot foot sites does not work with random sizing currently. If you run random sizing, you will get errors when trying to run a task. If you wish to run multiple sizes on one task, then put a comma in between each size like so. The task I'm making here will try to check out sizes 4 to 6.5 as well as size 10. Create multiple tasks with specific sizes, put an ampersand in between each size instead of a comma. The specific proxy section is pretty self-explanatory, it will just force the task to use a proxy you input there. It's useful if you would like to run a few residential proxy tasks while the proxy group you selected in your task group has DC proxies in it. Lastly, the delay column. You can input a specific delay for each task here, but you don't have to use this, and you can instead use the delay override option in the bottom left area of the screen, which will override all tasks within the task group and run all tasks at the same delay. You'll notice a lot of similarities between the foot sites module and the Shopify module, which you're already probably familiar with. Now that we've created our tasks, we need to generate some cookies. The purpose of generating cookies is to allow your tasks to work on initial drops on foot sites. Note that cookies are not typically required for restock drops. The process of installing the harvester is quite simple. Just go to the download links channel in the Balcobot Discord and download the harvester with the link provided. Unzip the file and put the folder anywhere you like. Just make sure you remember where it is. Next, open up Google Chrome and type in chrome colon forward slash forward slash extensions into the URL bar. Make sure you have developer mode ticked in the upper right and then click on load unpacked. Select the folder you extracted just a second ago and then you should see the Balcobot icon in the top right corner of your Google Chrome. The harvester is now installed and so next let's learn how to use it. To use the harvester simply click the icon, select a site from the drop down and toggle it on. The harvester will begin to automatically harvest cookies for the foot sites. Easy supply generation is a bit different and has been covered in other tutorials. As cookies are generated, you will see the number next to the Chrome extension increase. If we let the harvester run for a little bit, you should notice that at a point, cookies will stop generating automatically. Don't panic, this is pretty normal and all it means is that you need to begin clicking around on the site yourself to generate the cookies. You can click anywhere, this includes the search bar or any other areas of the site. If we begin to generate on a different site, note that the cookie count does not reset. We've generated the cookies, but you may be wondering a few things, and so let's dive into some more detailed topics. Firstly, what is a cookie? Two, where are cookies stored? Three, how can I see the breakdown of how many cookies I have per site? So firstly, a cookie is basically like a ticket you need for your tasks to run them correctly. They're required on initial, but they're not required on restock tasks. Every task requires at least one cookie, but I recommend having at least 10 cookies per task on initial to be safe. Secondly, the cookies are stored in the map.ser file in your Balcobot folder. To find this, just right click on the Balcobot shortcut and hit open file location. You should see the map.ser file here, and if there isn't one here, then just use the generator that we installed in your Chrome in your Chrome browser to make some cookies and the map.ser file should then appear within the Balcobot install folder. Thirdly, this is quite simple. Just go to the settings page of your Balco and to check the number of cookies you have made per site, just click the cookies button and it will tell you the number. Since the harvester automatically sends cookies to the map.ser file, you can easily transfer them to another system by simply copying that file, sending it to yourself, for example, using Google Drive or email, and then once you're on the other system, just download the cookies file, 
and then paste them within your Balkabot install folder, just like they're present in your home desktop. You may have also noticed that currently we don't have a clear button, a clear cookies button within Balkabot. Clear cookies, you need to do it manually. Simply find the map.ser file, open it with any text editor, and delete everything inside it by hitting Ctrl A or Command A if you're on a Mac, and then just hit delete. Make sure you save the file, and then restart Balcobot for it to apply changes. If successful, you should see that there will be zero cookies applied to any of the foot sites. We've already mentioned it a couple times, but we're just going to mention it one more time as we can see lots of questions being asked regarding this. Cookies are only required on initial drops for foot sites on Balcobot, and you do not need cookies to run restocks. To clarify, if you're running an initial drop, you do need cookies. If you're running restocks, do not need cookies. So that you can all run Balco foot sites as efficiently as possible, we've got some tips and tricks for you that you can apply to your setups. Firstly, make sure to use DCs on Balco when possible. Secondly, on initial drops, start your tasks 10 to 15 minutes before the drop in order to let the bot preload the checkout. Third, before the drop, your tasks should say waiting for drop time. And when running restocks, they should say adding to cart and going towards adding to cart failed. Lastly, do not run foot sites restocks 24 seven. Instead, just start when you see checkouts in our foot sites checkout log. This will prevent your proxies from getting banned by foot sites. Often, even if you start a little bit late, you still have a good shot at hitting the restocks. When running Balcobot foot sites, you'll often encounter some errors on your tasks, which we'll run through now. Error creating session or access denied. These two are grouped because the reason they occur is the same, bad proxies. Both of these mean that your proxies are flat out banned from foot sites and you must switch them out. Payment rate limited. This one is super common and means that your card number has been flagged and banned by foot sites. There's no fixing this, but to avoid it, make sure to run at most a four to one task to profile ratio. Error creating checkout. This error isn't as straightforward. It could either mean that your proxies are bad or it could just be a normal status thrown in by Balco. Let the tasks run for a little and if they don't get past this error, simply run different proxies. Waiting for cookie. This is self-explanatory status. Simply generate cookies with the generator extension to get rid of this status. Add to cart failed, 550. Don't panic if you see this error, it's not fatal. All it means is that the site didn't respond quick enough when Balco tried to add to cart. Most of the time, the error will just fix itself if you let the tasks run. If it keeps occurring, it's most likely because the site is completely dead. In both cases, just keep running your tasks. Hang tight. This isn't an error at all. It just means that your tasks are in the foot site's queue. Let them run and they'll eventually go through. Sometimes foot sites queues everybody. So in these times, there's no fixing the issue. But in most other cases, it's due to flagged proxies. Error getting product. There are two different issues that can cause this status. One, the site you're running for has taken the product you're running up for off the site. Stop the tasks and wait for them to load the item back up. In the second instance, you're running a random size on your tasks. Make sure that the random size box isn't ticked on any of your tasks. Finally, we'll answer some extremely common questions that we see about Balco foot sites. When do we need cookies? We need cookies on initial drops and major restocks. The days after a release will not require cookies. How long are foot sites cookies usually good for? This depends. Usually they last around a day. How long are Yeezy supply cookies good for? These two also last around one day. What profile to task ratio should I run in order to not get the profile banned? One profile to four tasks should be all right in most circumstances. What is a good proxy to task ratio should I run in order to not get a proxy banned? One to one is pretty fair for foot sites. How many cookies should I have per site on drop day? 10 cookies to one tasks usually works well. However, this is not a strict rule. Do catch-alls work on foot sites? As of now, .com and .xyz work perfectly well on foot sites. What virtual credit cards work on foot sites? Pretty much all virtual credit cards work fine. However, foot sites is a heavily dynamic website and you should always stay up to date by asking questions like this within your code group. 
When are cookies used in foot sites? During the preload phase, for example, when your task says submitting, details, and submitting billing. How shall I jig my address for foot sites? Simply put four letters in front of your address in line one, and this would typically work fine. However, foot sites are incredibly trigger happy with cancels, and you should expect a large proportion of your orders to get cancelled regardless of how you set up your profiles. Is Foot Locker EU supported? Foot Locker EU is a different site type from foot US foot sites and is not supported currently. Thank you to Fitzy, aka Blender, for writing the script and recording the content for this video, and we hope to see you soon cooking up foot sites with us.